feast of the gods. You already know. This is a test. This is an obstacle course. Everything happening is designed to show me who I am. I am. I'm not at the mercy of what happens to me in my life. I am the response I choose to give to the events that occur in my reality. is for us to crumble under pressure. Crumble underneath the situation that may be uncomfortable. That's fine. Yet, the difference between the lower self and the higher self is the fact that we are aware that pressure is designed to show you who you are. I am not here to work for no corporation. I'm not here to focus on other people. I'm not here to bring anyone down. I'm not here to be an entertainer. I'm not here to be a people pleaser. I'm here to live the truth, be the truth, and speak the truth. One thing out of the many things that I've been taught by the most honorable Grand Master Chief is that I'm being recorded that at the end of this simulation, at the end of this illusion, I will not be judged for what you did on your troll YouTube page. I will not be judged by a troll's decision to spread hatred and negativity. I will not be judged by the lower self decision to call the embassy and make false accusations. I will be judged based upon what I chose to do and what I chose as my desired outcome. You think that what you think about me is significant. You think that if you paint a picture of who the most honorable Grand Master Chief is, that that will echo throughout time. You think that if you get on YouTube, if you get on Facebook, if you get on Instagram, and promote what you want other people to see, that that is what will remain in the end. Well, let me explain something to you very clearly, very simply, right? You do not remember the people that was in the crowd chanting and cheering for Jesus to be crucified. None of those people are remembered. None of those people are talked about. None of those people made a significant impact. Why? 
because they were too busy focused on the flaws of the messenger and completely disregarded, overlooked, and missed the message. You're so focused on character traits. You're so focused on past mistakes. You're so focused on what you don't like that you completely miss what you need to be doing. You think that you're doing a service by telling people who the most grand, the most honorable Grand Master Chief is from your perspective. You think that, that what, that's what this is about? Life is about your self-improvement. Life is about your growth. Life is about being the best version of who you are. Life ain't about pointing out the flaws in other people and what they need to be doing. What does that do for you? Besides play as a distraction. You realize that there's a lot of things you need to work on. If you sit down and really pay attention to the videos, the teachings, the information, the constant stream that is flowing through the Most Honorable Grand Master Chief, you'll start realizing, hey, I need to get my shit together. You start realizing, damn, my supermarket is full of fake ass food. I literally live in a play play world. I live in a world where literally everything is fake. The people are fake. The food is fake. The water fake. The faces are fake. The hair is fake. The is fake. The titties is fake. The money is fake. Everything in my reality is fake. Yet there's a man passionately, consistently reminding me of how fake my world is. Rather than acknowledge and accept the truth that my world is fake and search for something that's actually real, let me try to tear this man down because I don't even have the mental capacity to make the change myself. Damn. Damn. Why? Why are you telling me about this fake ass world that I've invested my whole life into? I got my emotions tangled up in this world, man. I don't know nothing else but this world, man. Why are you always reminding me of how fake of a bitch ass nigga that I am for living in this fake ass this car? I want to live in Master's house. I want a bank account like Master. I don't, uh-uh, stop, uh-uh, stop telling me that this world fake. Stop tearing down my illusion. Stop telling me Santa Claus ain't real. Stop telling me the Easter Bunny ain't real. Stop telling me that money is fake. Stop telling me that I'm working for the bank. Stop telling me that I need to get closer to the sun. Because I've invested too much into what Master told me I needed to be involved in. Now, let me tell you what the problem is with niggas today. Niggas have made a very large investment in the European mindset. Entire soul into Babylon. That anything or anyone that is going against their soul investment must be an enemy. Oh, he's an enemy. He got to be the enemy. He telling me, oh no, 
No, no, no, no, no. I own my own business. I have my own property. Oh, we, oh, we have a 401k. Oh, I, I, no, listen, our investments are secured. A world that was not established by people who had your best interest in mind. You know what? You know what? There's a lot of distractions in Babylon. You know what? I, yeah, you know what? That is some true shit you're speaking. But these distractions feel too too good, bro. Bro, I done, bro I'm, I'm trying to get my degree, bro. I'm trying to get this money, bro. I don't have time to look at the truth because my subconscious mind is constantly being conditioned and trained to only see what the European mindset wants me to see. That's sad. That's sad. That's sad. Now, let's be real. Let's really talk about who is a danger and a threat to you because what you want to say is oh let's get grandmaster chief he this he that he needs to be this get him let's get him because that's the real enemy nigga please there's a police officer that just blew the brains out of a bitch head five minutes ago and you ain't gonna do shit Every fucking drop of evidence can point to the police officer being guilty and the nigga will walk away and you better not say a motherfucking thing. For I blow your bitch ass brains out, nigga. Do you think I give a fuck about your rights? Think I give a fuck about your marching? You up here sitting underneath a system where a nigga can blow your brains out and walk away. But you want to, no, 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 let's not look, no, no, no. We're not looking at that. We're not going to look at that. You're not going to look at a system that sells drugs and lock you up for selling the same drugs. Oh, no, we're not going to talk about that. No, 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 let's talk about, let's talk about what y'all are doing in a country that's 10,000 miles away. Let's talk about that. Let's not talk about the shit that's happening around the corner for me. Oh, no, 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 no. We finna get y'all carbonation. We finna digitally attack y'all because we damn sure ain't fools enough to do anything in this system that we actually live in. Let's go to the cyber world, everybody. Let's go to the cyber world. Where we can pick at carbon nation with no consequences. But we ain't finna step out into this real world where we can get our motherfucking back blowed out. Oh no, why? Because we're cowards. Of course, cowards. Grandmaster Chief don't say this over and over again for no reason. The internet gives cowards an outlet because the same niggas talking shit in this digital form wouldn't dare open their mouth in the real world to speak anything against that system. Why? Because when you can, oh, guess what you can do on this little digital shit? On this little digital shit, you can say whatever you want to say. And Put your fucking thumbs and whistling Dixie and ain't nothing gonna happen to you. But if you ever fix your motherfucking mouth, rally up anything against that system and I'm gonna blow your motherfucking brains out your goddamn head. Come on and come to the digital land of make-believe where niggas with a phone can be gangster. Where niggas with a phone that ain't got no power in their waking reality can come to this digital shit and act like they running some shit. Oh yeah, nigga, I'm a gangster because I left a comment under your photo. What you gonna do now, nigga? Say something wrong to the police, nigga. I'm gonna blow and drive to actually come back.
that the system that is giving you all of your problems. Nowhere because you a coward, nigga. Niggas think y'all got a clear picture of the most honorable Grandmaster Chief from what you've seen online? Grandmaster Chief is more than what the internet could possibly hold, my nigga. Even the members of Carbonation, you don't know us in our entirety. You only know what you've gathered from third-party sources or from what you've gathered from certain... Me? You think you know me, but you don't. You don't. Look at you. In the room. Let's point out the flaws in these niggas. Let's point out the flaws in carbonation. Because we can't, for whatever reason, we can't see the fucking flaws right down the street at McDonald's. We can't see the flaws right down the street at Walmart. We can't see the flaws right down the street at the police station. We can't see the flaws right down the street of the bitch smoking crack that got it from a drug dealer that got it from the government. We can't see that. Oh, we blind in a bitch. To the shit that's really making an impact. We blind. Oh, we blind. Oh, you guys do this. And you guys do that. Bitch ain't said a goddamn thing to the system that got you fucked up. I guarantee America, the families that run America are more of a problem from you than we ever could be. Come on with it. Come on with the shits. I'm blocking your ass. Blocking your ass, nigga. You can't stop us, dog. You gonna have a real rude awakening since you can't get the knowledge and the understanding through your Messiah. Through the most honorable Grandmaster Chief. You can't get it. You can't get it. You literally said my life ain't worth a fuck to the extent that I'm about to come to a life of a nigga I don't like and let him know through commenting on a social media platform how much I don't like him. My life, your life, must not be worth a fuck. That's fine. That's fine. Because slowly but surely, all of that little bullshit you've been using to distract yourself from what you need to work on gonna fade away and you're gonna be faced with who? You. Yourself. Because reality is a direct reflection of you. And if you're going to ask a question, make sure that the answer you receive is actually going to add value to your life. I know what you're doing. You want me to think like you because you're on a low frequency. You want me to see things the way you see them. Unfortunately, we vibrate on two different thought frequencies. Uh oh. You're so confident in what you're saying. That ain't what's happening. Oh, true. If you're so smart, then. Who needed attention from other sources, so rather than actually talk to a motherfucker, they decided to pick on him. That's what y'all niggas are true. 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 Look at me. I'm in your life. Look. I'm not getting attention in my real life, so I'll come to your life. True. Look at me. I'm saying mean stuff about you. 
truth. Look at me. I'm commenting in your room. Oh, and I didn't come here to learn anything. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. This live is about people whose life is so insignificant. They direct their energy and attention to a group of people who they consider is irrelevant. They don't like. Interesting. They consider us to be dangerous, harmful. Yet the very people that shoot them in the streets roam freely. That's crazy. Let me go ahead and get handle on this room. Let me go ahead and get these niggas out the room real quick. Go ahead and get the room right. Uh oh, ask, look, look at them. Look, you really want. You really want uh -uh -uh. Now this, right What this is doing What the most honorable grandmaster chief has done Is blow up The self-hatred of black people Black people Hate themselves so much That they will let Anybody that doesn't look like them have heaven on earth while they work for those same people to get theirs. The European literally killed, stole, and destroyed to build his empire. And you want to work for this system. What does that say about you? What does that say about you? What does that say about you? And I had an interesting conversation where we like to decipher and dissect some of the things trolls say. One of the things trolls like to say is, why y'all like, go, go get a job. Why you ain't got no job? Don't got no job? Make the most money. The niggas that got a job, nine to five, are the brokest niggas in that system. The very niggas y'all worship don't have a job. It is actually ignorant for you to have a job in Babylon if you gon' fucking ba if you gon' fucking be there. That don't make no sense. I want y'all to reevaluate the statements you're saying because it's not based in any objectivity. Just like your actions that you've done thus far. It's based in how you feel. If only you knew who the most honorable Grandmaster Chief was and what he represents in your reality, you would never do or say the things that you're saying. The reason why I know black people have a higher level of self-hatred than any group of people on this place, on this earth plane, is because black people literally don't understand that the way they treat each other is the way the rest of the world will treat you. You see how you respond to your brother being falsely accused and held hostage? It is a clear indicator that you hate yourself. If a Chinese person was locked up in Nicaragua, it would be a problem for the whole fucking China. If a Japanese person was locked up in Nicaragua, it would be a fucking problem for Japan. 
But because you hate yourself and you've been trained to be crabs in a fucking bucket, because you've been trained to live with a dog-eat-dog -dog mentality, you, with much... Let me know if the sound is good. Give me thumbs up. If the sound okay, is thumbs up, bet. Go ahead and post real quick. Now, like I was saying, all right. Like I was saying. What the most honorable Grandmaster Chief has done is expose the level of self-hatred that black people have for each other. Black people are not trained, and I use that word intentionally, because what you are is a reflection of your subconscious programming. What was uploaded into you 
for the first seven years and continues to be uploaded into your consciousness, your subconscious mind, is a program. It is a collection of thoughts that has caused you to live in a way that goes against who you are. Black people are trained to hate each other. Black people are trained to be divided. Black people are trained to be domesticated for servitude. Black people are thoroughly trained to be domesticated servants for the Babylonian system, which is a system run by the bank, which is run by the devil. The devil is the lowest frequency of thought available in the earth plane. The devil goes against itself. The devil destroys acres of trees for a fucking mall. The devil creates genetically modified food to alter the behavior of other cells. The devil takes whales out of the ocean and puts them in an aquarium for entertainment purposes. The devil does everything against what it is because it is disconnected from what it is. Black people are disconnected from the earth, but therefore black people are disconnected from who they are and therefore they do dumb shit like play basketball. They do dumb shit like try to own a business. They do dumb shit like put on hair on top of their hair. They do dumb shit like wear shoes, which is rubber that insulates them from their connection to the earth. Black people do dumb shit because they do not have knowledge of self. As long as you don't have knowledge of self, you can participate in that dumbass circus called the United States. That dumbass circus called Babylon. And that's what it is. It's a circus. That's what it is. That's what it is. And you can call it whatever you want to call it. That's what's going on. People act like they're not in a cult. A cult is a culture. A cult is a group of people who operate underneath a certain doctrine, a certain lifestyle, a certain way of thinking. America is a cult. How are you going to talk about carbonation from your nation? The reason why you view carbonation as a threat is because we speak against your nation. We speak against your way of life. The only thing you're doing is exposing how you want us to react because that is how you would react if you were in our position. 
you want us to be worried. You want us to be nervous. You want us to be discouraged in the face of adversity, yet we were already prepared for adversity. Everyone that has done anything great has faced adversity. Name me someone who's great for leaving comments in people's lives, telling them who they are. Name me someone who's remembered, who's highly respected for leaving comments on social media, negative comments on social media. Name me someone of great significance that decided to pick up their phone, join someone's life, and leave negative comments. You can't, and you never will, because niggas of that level are not designed to be remembered. They are only designed to play as a distraction for those who are actually doing something to change the world. And because you don't see yourself as a reflection of the most honorable Grand Master Chief, you said, let's get rid of this. I can't be this great, so let me get rid of anything that reminds me or remotely encourages me to do the same. You see the greatness in carbonation, and rather than join it, rather than elevate, you said, I don't want to see this. I'm a nigger in Babylon. I'm used to seeing images of people who look like me shoot themselves. I'm used to seeing, oh, I, I, a crackhead, oh, I can, I can be that, because that's what I was shown. Oh, I can be a basketball player, that's what I've been shown my whole life. You can be anything that the European has conditioned you to believe, but anything that says you're greater than what that world has to offer, you want to get rid of it because it is a reflection of the self-hatred you have for yourself. I'm not what you think I am. You're what you think I am. It doesn't matter what you say about me. And you can try to point out all the little semantics you want about me saying nigga, about me using profanity. You can say all of that. You can say all of that. But it doesn't take away from the fact that you have to grow. You have to live your life for you. Oh, I'm about to get him out of here. You know you great when you got people praying for your downfall. You got people waking up to, to, to actually participate in your downfall. You want to do what? Make us second guess ourselves? You want us to see things from your perspective? I think not. I think not. I know what this is. What is fear? False evidence appearing real? Who am I? I'm God. What is my reality? A reflection of what I think, not what other people think. Huh? What I look like. Believe. It's like a retard on a school bus. A retard in a stove. You don't get mad at retarded people. You don't try to debate retarded people. You let retarded people be retarded and you remove yourself from places where retarded people can do you harm. Right. No, I'm not a God. I'm, I am God. 
I am the total. Exists beyond my observation. I am the only thing in existence. I know that. This power also comes with great responsibility. The most honorable Grand Master Chief represents the highest frequency of thought available. And the thoughts, the wisdom that he has provided me is a weapon that I use against the demons who try to insert in increasing its own vibration. It's only interested in bringing other frequencies to its low frequency. call it see and I like and demons are funny I just said it demons like to introduce a perspective as if it is the only perspective the most honorable grand master chief teaches us that perspectives are like a pie eight slices change your reality at the same time you see a temper tantrum oh that's great that's excellent that's one perspective, demon. Slow down. I'm God. How about I change and pick another perspective and say that this is passion. This is me venting. This is me speaking the truth. This is me saying what needs to be said at a certain velocity, as my Grandmaster Chief has taught me to do. Temper tantrum. Oh, no. That's from your limited perspective. This is the truth. This is the universe. This is God. Ha. Huh. I am all powerful. I'm all powerful. You sure about that? That's one perspective. I represent the higher self. Demons, y'all gotta be careful. You gotta watch the demons. The demons want you to see things from their low vibrational standpoint. You gotta hit them with a higher one. If you got a question, call in. Call in. Huh. They don't know nothing about it. The symbolism, that's a good question. What is the symbolism and what's happening to y'all from your perspective? New level, new devil. Y'all don't understand who Grandmaster Chief is. Y'all don't understand his mind. You're so focused on what a hater page has said. You're so focused on rumors, gossip, and drama that you haven't even begun to scratch the surface of Carbonation TV. Grandmaster Chief has prepared us for this situation. You okay. Grandmaster Chief's mind transcends everything that a hater could begin to fathom about what's happening, about who he is. What's happening is new level, new devil. What's happening is a situation that is designed to show us who we are. We'll never see who we are without uncomfortable situations, without pressure. What you think this is? What 
what you think this is. I just told you earlier, life is a test and everyone that's commenting negatively is foolishly failing their own test because you've got to understand that because of the law of the universe, everything you put out must come back to you. So I will be careful what you think. I will be careful what you look at. I will be careful what you say. I will be careful what you listen to because everything that you put out must come back to you. Grandmaster Chief also teaches if you may, if you are not aware because you're so focused on the messenger, you missing the message. Grandmaster Chief teaches us that life is a mirror. I'm only dealing with myself. Consider it me being upset, but your life is so meaningless that you can't even fathom what passion feels like. Oh, that was a very good response. That was a very good response, but let me also inform you of something else. Grandmaster Chief told us is that you have to wait for a painting to be finished. And while the artist is painting his painting, it may look like something you can't comprehend. You may be like, well, what is he trying to do? What is the outcome of this? And if you wait patiently, the outcome will always present itself as a masterpiece. You think that this is the end. Oh no, this is a transitional period. Just wait, I said this in the other live. What you will see carbonation turn into, what you will see carbonation evolve into after this storm, after this trial, after this tribulation, will be something great. Will be something powerful. Will be something that will make you do what you always do. And that's distract yourself. Oh. I'm not upset. I told you. Upset. Oh no, I, I'm not upset. I'm God. I am in full control of my reality. I exercise self-control. It's one of our MODs. Morals over desire. Self-control. Oh no, we're not waiting it out. We're manifesting. to see if we will maintain that frequency. Doesn't matter what you say, doesn't matter what you do. We will continuously maintain the frequency of what we want to see in our reality because we understand that all is mental. You will never stop us. There's nothing you can do. The truth will remain. Let me make a disclaimer real quick, real quick. I want you to know this. I want you to know this. This is an illusion. Grandmaster Chief is you. Don't be so foolish to operate within the illusion of separation. Grandmaster Chief is you. How you treat Grandmaster Chief says everything about who you are. You will, f <sighs> at the end of your life cycle, you will be made aware of this. You will realize that that was a part of you that you chose to deny, degrade, lie upon. And you will pay the consequences for doing so. This reality is about what you do with what you with what you have. This reality is how you treat yourself because everything is you. And those of you 
who are choosing to be negative understand that you're only sending that to yourself. Clear the room up real quick. <laughs> Free Grandmaster Chief. Free Grandmaster Chief. We will exhaust all resources. We will overcome. It's all about how we respond. We understand that this is warfare. We understand that we're going to be hated. We understand that we're going to be attacked. We understand that we're going to be falsely accused. We understand that our image is going to be tainted by people who do not agree with what we stand for. We understand this. I guarantee you that this, this group, this nation specifically, regardless of the weak people you've seen leave, do anything to free Grandmaster Chief. We will do anything to stay together because it is something that black people have a very difficult time doing and this is why black people are so easily destroyed through any attempts to organize and develop anything on their own. You will never Destroy carbon nation. Never. Ask yourself. How much time. Am I giving to my own self-improvement? How much time am I giving to become the best version of me? Could I be studying my I could be a study, I could be studying my astrology right now. It's something you should be saying. I could be getting my passport. I could be going vegan. I could be becoming smoke free. I could be quitting alcohol. I could be doing a lot of things that would make a drastic change in my life. I could be watching Carbonation TV. I could be tuning in to the most honorable Grand Master Chief's Instagram page. I could be tuning in to the frequency. But instead, you're doing what? Spreading lies, rumors, gossip. And what is the conclusion of that? What do you gain through your current behavior? What is the end game for you? As a troll, what is the what is the success rate on being a troll? How many successful trolls do you know? 
controls are parasites that only capitalize off of the growth and development of someone else. Without carbonation, certain YouTube channels would cease to exist. Without feeding off of the Most Honorable Grand Master Chief, many of these demons would not exist. Control in the room. I just wanted to talk about that. Trolling, cyberbullying, it leads nowhere. It leads back to the fact that you chose to avoid what you needed to work on. You can point out whatever you want to point out. Imagine if you put that type of energy towards your own self-assessment. Many of you would be vegan. Many of you would be proclaiming the kingdom on your social media. Many of you would be carbonation. But because you've invested so much time and energy into the European mindset, you see no other way to live. If you want to call in, call in. If you want to call in, call in. I just want to let African Americans, black people know that being ignorant is no longer a valid excuse. This is the age of information. You literally are in a very critical time because you have a computer in your hand and rather than look up information that can be applied to advance you, you spread negativity with it. If you want to know who someone is, Look at how they treat those around them. Look at how they utilize their tools. Black people are so ignorant and full of self-hate that all you have to do is look at their social medias to confirm that statement. Anybody that's promoting their own self-destruction must have no sense of self-worth whatsoever. The funny thing about all of this is that the people who have so much to say about the Most Honorable Grand Master Chief, Carbon Nation, do nothing to show people the right way on their social media. If what we're doing is so unrighteous or wrong in your eyes, why are you not guiding and directing the people to thing that you can do to support humanity? 
Why are you not doing it? Why are you spending so much time pointing out those who could be doing something better? If you know better, why are you not doing better? Why are you not showing better? Why can't I go to your social media and be enlightened? If you have that much wisdom, if you have that much information, why can't I see it on your page? Why is it not public? Why do you not have a YouTube channel cataloging this wisdom that you claim to have? Why don't I see this from you? I told you, respectful one. Call in if you want to have a discussion about what I don't know. If carbonation is not the truth, then who is? If we're unrighteous, then who's righteous? If we're not the way, then what is the way? And let's be honest. Psychologically proven that people don't give their energy to what they don't care about. There's no way you can dislike carbonation and give this much energy to it. People always give their energy to exactly what they want to give their energy to. is clear. The room is clear. The room is had one troll left. It's not clear. Now the room is clear. I vented constructively. here poisoning the earth. I'm not out here stealing from the earth. I'm not out here selling pharmaceuticals. I'm not here making genetically modified food. Carbonation is harmless. Carbonation is peaceful. Carbonation is innocent. Carbonation is pure. Carbonation is righteous. The most honorable Grand Master Chief, the Legio Bishop, is innocent, has done nothing wrong. The most honorable Grand Master Chief, the Legio Bishop, are false. It is a result of cyberbullying it is a result of a group of people who the rest of the world knows is operating on a program of self-hatred an automatic program of self-hatred and rather than do anything about it rather than be a human the rest of the world watches and uses this self-hatred for entertainment and cheap labor Ignorant, right? Out of everything available to you in the age of information, you choose to focus on the most ignorant things possible. 
that add no value to your life and you expect to go to heaven because you paid your tithes to church.